What's going on my beautiful people, Richard Harrison here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the HBA Funnel Builder brand new quiz funnel slash survey funnel feature that was just added uh, today, or at least I just seen it today. And so what I want to do in this video is actually show you how it works inside of the HBA Funnel Builder and how you can use it in your business to get qualified leads, interested prospects coming into your business. And I've come to realize something that you know, when people go through a process of filling out a quiz or a survey, they are more qualified leads than just people filling out an opt-in form. So I want to show you in this video how you can do that and use in this form. Now, just want you to know that this is the first time I've used this. I just used it, you know, just started using it today. I threw together a little uh, quiz funnel just for you can sh just to show you as an example, okay, of what you can do. And then I'm going to actually go into the HBA funnel builder, okay, and show you uh, how it works. Now, understand this may be a slow process. I'm just not learning how, just now learning how to use this. And so I wanted you to see the features and think about the possibilities you can do you know, with this tool to help grow the business that you are in. So if you ever want to make quiz funnel or survey funnels, then this little tool can help you do this, just that. So this is the actual page that I have thrown together, you know, a quick little page with the image of me. And then when it says, take the quiz, they're going to come to this page here. And now how many hours can you invest on a daily basis on your new business? Okay. They're going to have to pick one or the other. Now you can have as many boxes here as you want. I just have three, you know, just trying to get used to this thing. So if I click more than three hours per day, okay, going to click continue. Then what is your monthly income go? Like I said, this is required. They have to choose. Okay. Then what is your monthly budget for investing in your online business? It said they say a thousand. Okay. And then when they click submit, now you can have as many questions here as you want. I only have three. You can go up to five, as many as you want. It's totally up to you. There's a lot of little things going on in this, with this tool that I haven't figured out yet. I'm just showing you, you know, just what I've discovered today with it. So when someone clicks the submit button, Okay, they're going to click submit. Now, when they submit that button, you see down here, you actually, I got a message. And if I come over to my Gmail account, the messages are actually, you actually get an email telling you how much they can invest hours. Okay. Monthly budget and the monthly goal. And you can view the message here. Okay. Things like that. And there it is. It's going to show you all of that right there. Okay. So you're going to get the answers to the questions. Okay. So when someone fills out this form, let's just say I type in rich and I type in an email address. One of my throwaway accounts dot com. I'm going to click show me. Then it's going to take them to this page here. Okay. Where actually something, whatever it is that you're selling, whatever your business opportunity can be a ClickBank product, Warrior Plus, or whatever it is that you're involved in, you can lead them to this page here. Okay. So that's a quick little example of the funnel that I have set up. So let's actually go into the website, uh, HBA Funnel Builder, the Home Business Academy, and just take a look at this. Okay. So this is where we are now, and this is the page that I created. This is simply a drag and drop editor, okay? And you're working in, in blocks. You see this block over here, and this is a block here. This is a block here, and this is a block here. You can change the color. You can add images and all of that stuff to it. So if I uh, come here, if I click this little arrow here, it's going to take me to the survey. And the beauty of this thing is once you set up a survey, it's all linked together. So I'll show you that in a minute. Then if I click here, it takes you to the last page. Okay. So that's how you do that. And then we can go click here and go back. And another way to get to them is here. Now, if I scroll down through here, you see, I only have three items under the survey funnel. Okay. Okay. So this is one that you're looking at now. Okay. If I come back over here and scroll down, if I click on this one, it'll take you to the second one. 
And if I come back and scroll down again, click on this one, it takes you to the final page, okay? And as I said, you can use these arrows up here to go back. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up a, just a test one for you. So I got tests here already. And what I did is I just added a label. I'm gonna edit it. Let's see, rename the label. I'm gonna put quiz test and submit. Okay, I'm gonna click add a new step. And then I'm actually going to add a page. Okay, and you wanna come over here and you're gonna scroll down to edit page. Gonna give the page a name, I'm just gonna say quiz test. I'm gonna leave it at that, I'm gonna add it. Okay, now I'm gonna work in this block over here. I'm gonna come over to this plus sign and I'm gonna come down to our find quiz survey. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here. And there you go. So now this automatically pops up. You can move this around so you can, you know, work. I'd kind of like to move it to the right, that's just me. So you have the step name here, which you can edit that. You have the step name too, and you can edit that. So let's look at step number, uh, step one. I'm just gonna say, uh, pick one. Okay, and then we're gonna edit the fields. Now, you see these boxes here? We can change the headline. We're gonna start at the top and work our way down. We're gonna change the headline, step headline. Uh, so you're gonna see, uh, are you serious? starting a home business question mark I'm going to take this description out right here okay I'm going to delete that I'm going to move this box over so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to move it down here now we can actually change this headline up here that I just typed in by clicking on heading and description style here, okay? And we can change the color on it, make it blacker, make it green, okay? So we see that there, let me move this stuff over out of the way. Now, let's do that again so you can see, you can change it to red, whatever color you want, okay? I'm gonna change it to black. We don't, we're not gonna have anything in the second description. We can change the font, make it Arial, okay? Now, what we're gonna do here, that's the style. We're gonna click out of that, and we can change the same thing here. It's all about the heading, so we already done that, okay? Now we're gonna go, now if I wanted to move this, okay, to the left or to the right, we wanted to move this, make this bigger. You can resize it, okay? Make these smaller, come back and resize it. And you can delete it if you want to delete it here. So you got the settings, we're gonna click on settings. And this is the box options here, okay? So I'm gonna move it over here for right now so we can kind of play with it. You have the box field, box field options to be shown in the boxes, I'm just gonna click you see it change to the little simple. Gonna come back and go back to the boxes. We're gonna have the box layout, okay. We're gonna have a stack with image, okay. Or we can go back to a line left, however you wanna do it. And you can do it with an icon, okay. And do it like that if you want to. That's, that's totally up to you. So I'm gonna come back and leave it a line left. And then we're gonna fit fit in the circle. This is the images here. We can fit them in a square. See how it automatically changes. Or we can preserve the image size if we wanna do that. So we're gonna leave it in a circle. We can show the radio beside the boxes. If I untick this, you notice the little circles here disappear. We're gonna leave them there. Here we have the option per row. We can do one per row, just like that. We can do three per row, or we can do 
four per row however you want to do it so I'm going to leave it at one okay uh, can select multiple options we only want them to select one so we're going to leave that alone here you can map it to a source or whatever you want to do in there and you can uh, put in this if you have a source code and you'll get response you can do that there you want to make this a required field we're going to leave that alone okay now we're going to come down here we're going to actually edit these fields now you can give it a score okay here you can do that give it a score I'm not too sure what the scores are for but it's something you know that works behind the scenes so just know that okay so if I click on the little wheel here uh, source field one we're going to change that we're going to say yes gonna do source field two and we're going to say no and we're going to delete these other fields I'm going to delete that one I'm going to delete that one and we're only going to have these two fields well if I wanted to add a field I can do it right here come over here and add a field like that or I can add an option okay option name let's just say uh, I don't know what this is going to do but we're going to see what it's going to do and there you go maybe so we added maybe in there okay and maybe doesn't have an image so let's go to maybe let's click on an image let's click on this one going to select it now maybe have an image okay so you can do that if you don't want the image then just delete it go up here to number two come back over here go up to the no and delete the image come back up to number one delete the image okay and there you go now you have it okay so those are the settings here okay and as I said you can move this out of your way and things of that nature when you're done just click in the space it'll disappear we're going to go back and then we're going to go to step two this is the settings in step number two step headline I'm just going to put you're done okay I'm going to take out the second one and we're going to style it Ariel everything should be set so let's go to the little let's go to the little wheel we're done let's go to edit fields okay if you notice it's got a name here now if you want to change the heading you're done you see that I put that in there or I can just put congratulations you made it okay now you see how that changed so what we're going to do we're actually going to do something with these fields we're going to look at the settings here okay any text so you can you have some things you can add like a prefix to it prefix icon let me drag this over here so you can see and pull this over here and we can add a prefix icon like right there where it says name so if I wanted to put let's just say enter your name okay I'm going to add a prefix we're going to come here we're going to look through these little icons to see what we can find here and I'll just use a little man okay that changes and it's a required field field type you can select what type of data is in this field email only name number only okay so you have those options there and if we come over to the email settings 
we can do enter your best email okay and we're going to leave everything else alone we're going to add a prefix going to do email going to pop that in there and see i'm in property we're going to leave that email feel required is done okay we're going to leave that alone we can resize it make it bigger make it smaller okay we can add a field you have all of these options here where you can add fields if you want to add another a hidden field or google capture to it say like that there i'm not a robot you can add that to it okay and i'm going to leave that there for now so let's see here uh manage results settings here you can redirect it to another page we can send it to a thank you message we can add a rule here if we want to add a rule we can delete the rule okay i don't know what all those rules are so I'm not going to mess with them, but I'm just showing you what you can do. You can redirect them to another page if you want to in here. And we're going to leave it a thank you message. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're going to drop out of here. I'm going to click save and we're just going to view this. And so someone puts in their information. Got a progress bar up at the top. We can change this button here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But this is just a little, you know, continue. They put in their information. Check I'm not a robot. Hit the submit button. Okay. So let's go back and see what else we can do with this thing. Let's go to, let's just click on it. And we're going to go to the little wheel here. And now if you want this email to you, this is the form name. Put in the email address you want to go to. You can take away the progress bar. If you notice, it's gone. Now it's back. We can show uh, progress tabs. Pick one step name. Okay. We can show the back button, which is the previous, this button here. Okay. But we don't have to show the back button because we don't want them to go back. Okay. And we're going to leave it there. Then we can do styling of the button. Okay. And so what we're going to do here, we can change the button color to whatever color we want it. Let's make it yeah, make it red. Uh, you can change the opacity in it. Okay. You can have a border. You can do your text styling here. I'm going to make it aerial going to bump it up a little bit going to make it bold okay you can add a shadow behind it if you want to and you can drag this stuff down and make like a little border around it okay you can add some uh this is vertical here and all of that we're going to leave that alone okay i'm just showing you some things that you can do with it uh the border radius you can change it right here okay border size you can change it right here and you got the hoover effect slide the color to the right all of this here you can do that in there hoover color we want to make it uh let's just say green okay and we're going to come out of there uh, let's go back in there again. Let me see. You got to re get response settings here. Okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, auto advance. Automatically advance to the next step when possible. So you have that information there as well. Okay. So we're going to save the changes. Going to click here again. Going to click in here. Next, we're going to move to the little results. Okay. And we've looked at this before. This is a thank you message. This is where we're going. This is what we wanted to do. We've got settings here for this title. Edit the thank you message. Enter your message here. Add a call to action button on the thank you page. Okay. All of that little stuff right there. And I'm going to come back and redo this video at a later date once I get more comfortable with using this thing. Okay. So there is a way we go to the edit styling 
okay this is a form where you can do the description style okay all of that right there we can come back here labels and fields we can change the labels colors and things like that let's see here move this down i want to be able to see just a little bit let's go to label style I'm going to move this over here and you can do the label colors if you want to change all of that right there to black and things of that nature you can do the fields background so all of this stuff can be changed in here uh, font size all of that border radiuses and things okay so we're going to go quiz style we're going to choose a background color we're going to make the background color green and see that's your background color so you can change it you can change the opacity in it all of that type of stuff right there it doesn't matter whatever color you choose you can make it whatever colors you're great with you like using okay i'm going to change it to white i'm going to leave it at that active color okay so every time you change something you can do padding change that okay then we're going to go to option boxes and you can change the option boxes text color lighten it up let me move this over here and do that again so if i want the text color to be red it'll be red change the opacity on it whatever whatever you want to do in here okay so we're going to go back black leave it black uh the family we're going to make it aerial and you can make it whatever you want font size make it bigger so people can see it make it smaller okay then we're going to come over here we have the button style once again we can do change the button color the radiuses we'll leave it on 24 the hoover effect we've already done that okay and there's so much more that you can do in with this little tool you know i'm just learning it i'm just figuring it all out so when i click save changes if i open it up now it says show in a new tab this is the new form you see the button change okay are you serious about starting the home business yes continue somebody can fill in the form what well, i changed this i need to get that back right that's ugly but anyway you see what you can do here okay so this is just pretty much a little simple tool you know and it's only 25 dollars per month for you to actually come in here and have unlimited funnels, everything that you want. If I go back to my test page and just kind of open it up again. Matter of fact, what I can do is uh, close that out. And I can come up here in this right hand corner and click on my domain name and it opens it up. So this is the actual uh, funnel here, you know, survey quiz funnel that you can use to grow your business. Now, if you want to get this little funnel builder for $25 per month, there's a link in the description. Go ahead and click that link. I'm going to do some other video once I figure out everything about this uh, little quiz funnel deal and try to use it in my marketing. I've never done a quiz funnel before, so I'm actually going to run some traffic to this little one here that I've created just to see how it works out. So if you want to get a hold of the HBA funnel builder, just click the link in the description below. Also, you need a autoresponder to go along with it. Go ahead and click and get uh get response below as well. With that being said, this is the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you got some value from it. I know it's kind of long, but as I said before, I was just playing around with this and thought I would share it with you. So with that being said, you have a great day today and a better day tomorrow. Peace.